언니, 이거 언니 방구 냄새야? 아니, 아니야! 하이 케이오스! 웰컴 백투 아나더 비디오의 케이스타이오! 마이 네임 이즈 인영! Today I'm gonna talk about how to say no in Korean with two words 아니요 versus 아니에요 and the difference between these two often students get confused about so First of all, what is 아니요? 아니요 means simply no and this is in polite way and 아니요 can be shortened to two syllables 아니요 아니요 For casual speech, you say 아니 without you and for the second one 아니에요 아니에요 this is to be not which is coming from a dictionary form 아니다 아니에요 is in polite speech if you want to say in casual speech you say 아니야 아니야 and 아니야 can be shortened to two syllables as well 아니야 아니야 so you may still wonder what is the difference no versus to be not I'm gonna give you guys some examples to clarify Did you study a lot this week? 이번 주에 많이 공부했어요? 아니요 No 이번 This time 주 Week 에 time particle In Korean we say this time week For English this week 많이 a lot 공부했어요 It's from a verb 공부하다 to study It's in the past tense 이번 주에 많이 공부했어요? Did you study a lot this week? The answer is 아니요 No It, Even in English you wouldn't say it's not You probably answer as no Shall we meet now? 지금 만날까요? No 아니요 지금 now 만나 is from a verb 만나다 to meet 알까요 is a suggestion shall 지금 만날까요? Shall we meet now? No 아니요 How about the second scenario for 아니에요 Is it cold today? 오늘 날씨가 추워요? No 아니에요 It's not cold When the question includes descriptive verbs in this case to be cold you may answer as to be not 아니에요 However, this is a bit of a vague line you may also answer as 아니요 No When you're able to answer 아니에요 you can also answer by 아니요 as well, simply But it sounds awkward to say 아니에요 for those first two sentences because the question didn't include descriptive verbs Is this bread tasty? 이빵 맛있어요? 이, this, 빵, bread 맛있어요 It's from a verb 맛있다 To be tasty To be tasty is a descriptive verb as well So you may answer 아니에요 It's not tasty Or you can answer 아니요 No Please note that 아니에요 is commonly used to answer as You're welcome When somebody says Thank you. 고마워요. So 아니에요 in this case means it's not something to thank for. It's not. 아니에요. But for the textbook version, for your welcome, you may also learn 천만에요. However, this is not really common. For me, as a Korean, I don't say 천만에요 or 천만에. It sounds weird. Normally we say 아니야. <laughs> So to summarize this lesson today There are two ways to say no in Korean First one is 아니요 Second one is 아니에요 First one, in polite way, 아니요 Can also be shortened to 아니요 In casual way, 아니 without you For the second no, 아니다 is the dictionary form and means to be not In polite speech, 아니에요 in casual speech, 아니야 And 아니야 can be also shortened to 아니야 
Hopefully this video was useful to you. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like. If you have any questions, make sure to leave it in the comment down below. Then I see you guys next time. Bye bye.